so uh, cramped toe. <sighs> So today we're gonna to do chest. First thing is visual. Do some cardio on the treadmill. Uh, since we're not doing legs, I'm gonna do about oh, maybe seven minutes. Just enough to get my heart pumping and get my body warmed up. Okay, cardio is done. And now we're gonna head over to squat, squat rack and do some incline bench press. So I'm gonna do about oh, maybe three sets. 10 reps each and then on the 10th one I'm going to start increasing the weight by 5 on each side and then do 8 then another 5 do 6 and so on until I get to 0. I'm going to do two warm-up sets with just the bar and whenever you do uh, incline decline or just flatbed bench press make sure your elbows are tucked in because if you come down and your elbows are pointing out, it's going to use more of your shoulders and it's what you don't want. You want to use more of your chest. So when you come down, have your elbows tucked into your side. The thing I want to mention is whenever, when you're doing bench presses again, <coughs> what I like to do is I like to grab the bar and pull myself up so that way my shoulder blades are sticking out and then dig them deep into the, into the pad. If you start feeling wrist pain, your floor may be a little bit wrong. So one thing that could be happening, at least what was happening with me, is when I was grabbing the bar, my wrist was being, bending back a lot. So what I ended up doing is just uh, focusing more on having my wrist forward again. Okay, so it's the three sets with 30. So now I added five on each side, so now it's 35. Now I'm gonna do eight, and then add another five, do six, and like I said, back to zero. Um, if you like doing cardio, which I know I don't like doing cardio at all. You can do two things. You can either incorporate supersets to keep your heart elevated or just have the break time between each set short. So I like to keep the break time between each of my sets about between 30 seconds to a minute. That way my heart is still, still I guess, pumping. And that way you keep your heart elevated and you don't really have to do cardio because all cardio really is is just keeping your heart rate up at a certain heart rate for a certain amount of time. So if you incorporate supersets or shorten the time between each set, you can likely skip out on cardio, but I would still suggest to do about five minutes a day. So if you are keeping the rest time between each set uh, short, uh, be careful because I almost just died drinking water since you know, you're know you breathing really heavy and you're drinking water. You could potentially go down the wrong tube, which happened to me. I almost died. Anyways, done with incline, and now we're going to move over to decline, and same exact thing, same thing we did over here, do a certain set for three, three sets for 10 reps, and then increase the weight, they drop down the, the reps. So to give you guys a visual of what I mean by the whole adding five pounds and doing two reps less, I'll show you what
Last set, and we started out with 30, did it for 10, and now we're gonna go to 50 and just do it for two. Okay, next exercise, if you need a good stretching, to stretch out the chest. My favorite one is, um, so usually what people do with this machine is they'll come out, right, and then they'll bend their chest a little bit and then start, uh, I guess, doing the motion. And what I like to do is I'll grab the weights, I'll, put, I'll walk my feet together like military style, and then I'll come all the way down kind of like a 45 degree angle maybe a little bit less than 45 degree angle I mean more than 45 degree angle and from there I'm gonna make sure to keep my head my neck uh, straight so I'm not gonna look up a lot I'm just gonna make sure to look down and then what you're gonna do is make sure your elbows are locked you don't want your elbows to come into play with this so what you're gonna do is you're gonna come up have your elbow locked and just Use your chest, bring it down. Notice how my elbow isn't bending or anything. So your elbow is going to be like stone. So you're not going to move your elbow at all. And you're just going to push with your chest. Try to use your chest. So this is where the whole mind and muscle motion comes in play. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to do three sets of uh, 10 reps. And I'm not going to increase the weight, but I am going to pick a weight that is decently heavy for me. So when you're doing this exercise, don't be afraid to drop the weight. I would much rather have you guys drop the weight and keep perfect form than keep a certain weight and incorporate other muscle groups that you're not trying to work out. So I just did uh, 115, 52, I don't know how to read this machine. And on the eighth one, I felt that my form was getting a little bit off. So I'm just gonna drop the weight to make sure my form is still intact and I don't screw up any of my muscle groups. Okay, so now we're gonna do biceps. And your bicep has two muscle groups. That's why it's called bicep. A little math, I guess, or science. And what we're gonna do is just curls. And uh, so if you do a normal curl, you know, have it, your arms shoulder length apart, or shoulder length apart, and you curl up, you're hitting both of those muscle groups. Uh, the one that gives it the actual shape, and the one that gives it peak. But if you go farther out than your shoulder, width I guess you're activating more of the 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 one that gives it the shape it gives it that overall like little definition but if you do close grip you're activating more to give it peak so what we're gonna do is do three sets with just shoulder length uh, apart arms do three sets of those ten reps as usual and then we're gonna do one set with my arms apart Pass my shoulder uh, length, do 10 uh, reps, and then we're gonna do inside for 10 reps. So that way I'm doing, I'm hitting both of the muscle groups and also isolating both. How I was mentioning that if the weight gets too heavy, I would rather have you guys drop the weight than lose form. This is uh, a really crucial one. If you start feeling like you're curling and you're using more of your back, drop the weight because that is putting a lot of stress on your back and you're not really activating the, your biceps, you're using your back for motion. So as soon as you feel like you're doing curls and you're starting to sway a lot and um, your back is arching, I would suggest to drop the weight and finish off the whatever sets you have left with that lower weight. And if you don't know when your back is arching, I mean, there will be a point where you know that it's starting to, it's really bad. But if you don't know, what I would suggest is find like a flat wall or like a flat surface and just have your back to it. This will prevent you from 
arcing your back when doing biceps and having a small chance of injuring uh, your back. So when you're doing biceps or curls, I mean, make sure your back is straight so you don't want to sway. So that's just something that I wanted to mention to you guys. So what I mean by the whole shoulder length width, farther than your shoulder length and inner than your shoulder length. So I'm going to grab the barbell here and here. And that's about the length of my shoulders. Now to activate more of the definition one, I'm going to grab out here and out here. And then to activate more of the peak muscle group, I'm going to grab closer and close grip. So that's what I mean by the whole same length, farther than the length, inner than the length. And your tricep, and your tricep has three muscle groups. That's why it's called tri. Um, you have, I forgot what the names are called, but you have, if you want to think of it in terms of length, you have a long one, a medium one, and a small one for your triceps. So your long one, I believe, is the one that gives it the, the horseshoe type effect. And your medium one gives it depth. Uh, size and your small one I want to say I mean I'll do more research on this but you guys can also look it up your small one I think gives it definition don't quote me on that but I am a little bit pressured on time so I'm only going to be able to do one uh, tricep exercise and then I'm going to do uh, well I'll be able to do two but the second one is more of like a push up and I'm going to act I'm going to use more of my triceps in that one um, so the first tricep exercise is we're just going to grab the bar and we're going to pull down. Now what I like to do is to keep tension on my uh, tricep is I'll come down all the way, lock my elbows, and then as I come up, come up to a 45 degree angle or a 90 degree angle and hold it there for maybe two seconds um, and then come back down, lock it hold it 90 degree angle, two seconds, and come back down. I'm gonna do that uh, three sets again, 10 reps. And then after that, we're gonna go to the push-ups a bit more on the emphasis on the tricep. So last tricep and I guess chest exercise is we're gonna do push-ups, but what we're gonna do is keep, instead of coming out with your elbows as a normal push-up you would do, what you're gonna do is uh, just bend your elbow back that makes sense so you're in your push-up position, push position and instead of bringing your elbows out as normally we do what we're gonna do is just bend your elbows back and that's gonna emphasize more on your triceps so uh, cramp toe so we're gonna do three sets to failure so we're gonna go as much as we can so we can't go anymore take a rest do another one take another rest and that'll be it. So that's it for chest and arm day today. Hope you guys have some good things. And I'll see you guys in my next video.